Hey guys, this is SFDC Guy, and I'm going to start my trailhead um, trail to, to get some badges. So, here I'm going to click on Trails, and I'm going to go to Developer Beginner, because that's what the track I want to take. And Salesforce Platform Basics, and so getting started with the platform. So, going here, there's some things that you need to know. Uh, your sale prospects, these are your leads and opportunities. Um, you get to help customers after the sale, so your cases um, and your communities to engage with um, your customers. Uh, work on the go, so this is the Salesforce One mobile app, and then collaborate with the uh, the Messenger app called Chatter and communities for employees, customers, and opportunities. And then you want to market your audience, um, so exact target marketing cloud to manage your customers' uh, journey. So next up, um, we have another table here. You need to be able to uh, manage internal project requests. So these are custom objects for managing projects. So you can create a, a maybe a, a garage uh, a object or maybe a merchandise object, something like that. Uh, add custom fields to capture important data. So maybe you have um, uh, in your merchandise app, um, maybe you want to to keep track of how many items you were you sold uh, of the merchandise, um, you get to set up automatic email alerts. So these could be like big deal alerts, things like that that you want to get email for. Um, build custom internal apps. So if this is the uh, Lightning component here that you can use um, for creating an an app. Uh, build custom customer facing app. So this is. Uh, this is the Heroku for creating a customer facing app um, uh, functionality that we can use for that. So, next up, they say decoding terminology. So, this is some of the ter terminology used in Salesforce record, which, if you think of a record like a, a spreadsheet, then a record would be a row in the spreadsheet, or it would be a row on a database. Um, a field would be a column in a spreadsheet or a column in a database. An object would be a table in the database or a tab in the spreadsheet. An org um, stands for organization, and this is where uh, all your users will be on Salesforce.com and how they will access it. And then Force.com is the uh, suite of tools that you can use, like Apex programming language, uh, Visual Force, uh, SQL, SOSL. And then app is a set of fields, objects, permissions, and functionality to support a business process. So um, your app can it, well, it contains a bunch of objects, it contains a bunch of fields, tabs, and uh, your permission sets for your users to access. So using the platform here, we can see that we are on the um, lead object for Miss. Kristen Atkin, and you can see all this information about her, her email, website, lead status, rating, all these different um, uh, items, uh, specifically all these different fields um, for the lead. And here you can see uh, the field for phone numbers here, where you have her phone number and her mobile phone number. So next up is clicks and code. So this is the declarative. This will be the click. So user interface, you can create forms and page layouts using drag and drop tools like the page layout editor. Um, Lightning process builder, you can create rules that take time dependent actions and automate multi-step processes using workflows. So again, this is all just click, drag and drop type of stuff. Uh, schema builder is, is definitely drag and drop. Uh, you can customize objects and create relationships. So this could be master detail relationships um, or uh, lookup relationships and then you can do reports and dashboards um, dashboards are made from reports so it's really easy to to create those just by uh, using the the Salesforce interface so next up is the programmatic way which we can use Apex which is a Java like uh, object oriented programming language and it can be used for for accessing like the database um, it can be used to, to do some processes that can't be done declaratively like through some of this stuff here, or that, that may be easier to do it in code 
depending on you know who you are. Uh, next up, we have Visual Force, which is basically like the web page. It's it's uh it's what the user can see, and it has it's basically it's a mockup language. So it's HTML. You can use CSS with it. You can use JavaScript. Um, then you have SQL, and SQL is very similar to SQL if you've done uh, query languages before. But SQL stands for Salesforce Object Query Language, and it allows you to query Salesforce's database. And then you have the Lightning component, which is basically for your uh, m your mobile web apps. So you can use that to customize that. All right, so whew, I am going to go ahead and skip some of this here, and we're going to go ahead and launch uh, this developer edition here. So we're going to begin the challenge. All right. So our challenge is we want to create a simple garage manager app using the force.com app quick start wizard. So if you don't know what that is, they actually describe um, the steps for the challenges here. We just kind of skipped over it. Uh, the quick start um, app wizard is right here. So you can go right back here, say add app. And let's see here, what type of app do they want us to add? Uh, da -da, quick start wizard. Using the app quick start wizard, create an app name, garage. So I'm going to just copy that right there. I'm going to paste it there. Whose main type of data will be vehicle. So I'm going to take that vehicle there, copy it. Put it there, and let's see. Um, if you haven't already signed up for a developer edition, I have already, so I have to do this. Uh, the app Quick Start Wizard must create a resulting application in the app dropdown named Garage, which is what we're creating now. The Garage application must have a tab named Vehicles, plural label. So vehicles with the S. And now we can see our vehicles tab right here. You just click create. And let's go go to my app. So now here we have this garage app with this tab called vehicles. I take a tour of your app. I'm gonna say no thanks to that. So now let's check our challenge. See if we um, did it correctly. Great. Great work. You've completed the challenge. 500 plus points. So that's great. And now I think that's going to be it for now. That's my first badge here on Trailhead. And I hope you guys continue to watch my videos. And I plan on putting some more up about Trailhead, about all the different things I'm learning about Salesforce, uh, and things that I have already learned about Salesforce. And I am hope that all these videos will be helpful for you guys as well. So thank you, and I'll see you guys on the next video.